I'm Jamie Fennell, I'm a mechanical engineering technician on the Atlas experiment here at CERN. We have the largest and most complex machine in the world, the Large Hadron Collider. My experiment, Atlas, is one of the four main experiments on the LHC. This is kind of like a giant microscope, looking at the centre of the proton-proton collisions on the Large Hadron Collider, looking deep to see what happens in the centre, to not just discover the source of the Big Bang, what happens, but also to help understand the fundamental principles of how our universe is held together. There's hundreds of different types of jobs to fill here at CERN. And one of the largest groups of that is, is technicians. Out of 2,500 staff members, nearly a fifth of us are technicians. I work on designing and also building parts of the new upgrade for Atlas as we're constantly evolving the experiment. I have to work out a lot of the mechanics, do statistical analysis of huge assemblies. Over the last two years I've been working on building and designing the new small wheel. And one of the more vital components, this is the main manipulation system of the detectors. In the end we had designed seven different generations of these kinematic mouse we call them. We have to come up with brand new mechanisms, brand new functions in order to creatively solve quite difficult problems. People say, what is your average work day? What, it changes every day. There's never been two days the same. One time I could be in the office, I could be designing, working across hundreds of different people trying to agree on certain designs. Then I can be in the workshop physically making tooling, making prototyping. I'm covered in dirt and grease and I'm making things with metal with my hands. Then I could be in an assembly hall building these huge monstrosities that we've put together. Something that used to be when I was in the office three inches tall on my screen is now 10 meters right in front of me. And then 100 meters underground. So I've been trained to use certain equipment that nobody else in the world has been trained to use. I've been trained to pilot the Atlas movement system, which nobody else in the world does. With an international team, people that don't speak my mother tongue, working towards a common goal, which is the advancement of science. I was an inquisitive child, to say the least. I would pull things apart, I would try and see what was inside of it. In one case, destroying an entire hi-fi system. It's what we do as people. We want to know what something's made of. You find a box, you pull it apart, you see what's in the box, you take those pieces, you pull them apart even more. That's something that a technician is born doing, and it's, it's nice to be able to help do that on a fundamental level, because you can see how everything fits together. It's one massive puzzle. It's still something that, that gives me a push in the morning to, to do my job even better. It's not an exaggeration. It is the biggest and the most complex scientific experiment on the planet, and it's built by us. Is it a challenge every day? Does that make us work harder? Yeah. <laughs> I work better doing something at my own pace, making real experiments and real projects happen. And that's also helped me learn, for example, a second language on the job. I've not learned it in a classroom. I've learned it with friends and colleagues and working. And that's the way I've best absorbed information. When it comes to trying to achieve dreams, especially ones that just don't seem like they could ever happen, don't turn down opportunities. When I was 16, and I had the picture of the Atlas as a poster on my wall. And I knew I always wanted to work there. A series of yeses and opportunities and yeses led on to working at CERN. Something that is terrifying, but I said yes. Doing things that I never imagined with an experiment that I'd always dreamed of working on. Never turn down opportunities and they can come in the most bizarre forms.